The holidays are a season of giving, but the gift a lot of kids get this time of the year they could do without, the cold and flu. According to pediatricians, the holidays result in an increase in cold, flu, and pertussis cases in children. Our Dave Delosier looked into what parents can do to protect their kids, and he joins us now. He's in the News Center tonight, Dave. Yeah, hey, Eric. You know, a lot of the increased risk is a result of travel and exposure to gatherings of people. Add to that winter weather putting people in confined spaces, and it's a recipe for the spread of a virus. How are you guys? Good. How oh, well, are how are you? 15-month-old Raylan is paying a holiday visit to see Dr. Paul. What's Santa say? Oh, this holiday, there has been a lot of visiting. Both of, both of our parents absolutely love time with Raylan and the family as a whole, but especially Raylan. And like most kids, there was a trip to the mall. And actually, the weekend before Christmas even had a trip to see Santa, which didn't go so well. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely had some uh, emotions calling on that one, so. Uh, did not like the guy in the big red suit this year. <laughs> No. <laughs> and that's okay, but all that visiting with family, friends, and that guy in the red suit is another chance to catch one of the bugs that's going around. You know, that's that's a constant battle. Um, there, I think there's so much stuff going around. I mean, kids being kids. I mean, they they're have things in their mouths. They're sharing. Which is a chance to share the flu or a case of pertussis unless you take precautions. Fortunately, we have our weapon of safely developed vaccines, and if they're given in a timely manner, they really can help prevent... Um, these diseases that can cause death. That's why Raylan got her vaccinations, but infants under the age of six months of age can't receive a flu vaccine, which is why they say all those visitors during the holidays need to help out. It's really important for everyone around them. We uh, kind of call it the cocooning effect, and so it's really important that the all the siblings, the parents, the grandparents, and any other caregiver really gets that pertussis vaccine. High okay. five. Okay, let me know. Bam! Raylan's a seriously cute child. Now, getting the flu vaccination is a very good idea for everyone right now. Since September 1st, 95 people in Wisconsin have been hospitalized from the flu. And Eric, with the holiday travel and people being in close quarters, the spread of the flu is only likely to grow. A constant battle. Dave Delosier in our news center tonight. Dave, thank you very much. You